¿Qué tal amigos? ¿Cómo están? En la nueva edición de Auto 060 tenemos una gran cantidad de información, de entrevistas, de test drives, eh, muy interesantes novedades de la industria. Vamos a empezar en este segmento con una entrevista con James Bell, que es el, eh, el representante, el liazón entre los consumidores y todo lo que tiene que ver con General Motors, que nos va a hablar un poco del gran año que está teniendo General Motors en este 2013 y del que va a tener en el 2014. Más adelante vamos a hablar también de consejos para el cambio del aceite en el auto, la invasión de los autos chinos, cuándo es que de verdad se va a producir esto. También vamos a hablar con una, una radioescucha que se enamoró del Mercedes-Benz CLA, eh, CLA 2014 por un, pay, un posting que hicimos aquí en nuestra página de Facebook. La gran demanda que está teniendo la Range Rover Sport aquí en Estados Unidos en un evento que se realizó aquí en el sur de la Florida en Miami. Vamos a hablar también con Estefanía Costa Rubio eh, sobre el automovilismo y el impacto de los pilotos hispanos en Estados Unidos y un pequeño... Eh, una probada del Auto Show de Miami que viene muy pronto y también de un test drive que hicimos con el Bentley Continental GTC. Así que sin más, vamos a hablar con James Bell de la General Motors. Well, James, uh, thank you very much as always for uh, for spending time with us. Uh, great uh, great news from GM in the the past uh, few months and weeks and probably even better news in the pa in the next uh, few weeks and months, right? <laughs> yeah, we've actually got um Quite a few awards that are lining up. Some I can tell you about and, and some I can't, but uh, we're excited to be, um, you know, because this car business, as you know, Javier, is, is all about having good products. Uh, you know, there's no problem in the car business that a good a good car or a good truck won't fix. And so we're, we're very pleased that so many uh, of our latest products, which are also in very big segments, you know, very important to the business, are uh, being received so well these days. Yeah, so uh, the, the three uh, cars from uh, General Motors are listed as the semi-finalists for a car, car of the Year Award, which is going to be presented at the Detroit Auto Show next uh, January. So the right. Chevrolet Corvette, uh, Stingray, the Impala, and the Cadillac CTS. I think the, the Stingray is going to win. I don't have a vote, but <laughs> if I had one, I would vote for it. Well, yeah, I don't have a vote either, but I, I think if you really look at the significance, and that's, you know, how the Cadillac ATS won last year, that it was a significant good car in a segment where um, maybe they were, well, let's be honest, they didn't really have a competitor. Um, and I think if you look at, based on, on that criteria, then you're right. Probably the Stingray will win because not only is it beautiful to look at and a lot of fun to drive, but it, it's significant in the fact that it's a true world-class sports car now. It can, you know, go right up against uh, vehicles from Porsche and, uh, you know, other sports car companies and, and not have any excuses. Because in the past, <coughs> excuse me, the Corvette was a lovely car, a lot of fun to drive, but it was lacking in refinement, and that's what's been solved. So, yeah, yeah from a significance perspective, I would say uh, it's, it probably is this thing, right? Having said that, the Impala is a vehicle that, uh, you know, that was a car that you didn't really even want to rent. <laughs> uh, you know, as soon as, as early as last year, but now it's become a car that's very aspirational, and, and lots of American families are enjoying putting in their driveways. So, in the car space, we've got some uh, tough competition just from ourselves. Yeah, exactly. And actually, uh, it's kind of funny with the Impala because one of my most popular videos on my YouTube channel is from an Impala that uh, a guy here in Miami modified a little bit, not too much, put like bigger wheels, a little bit of a. Uh, Uh, glass thinking and all that, and it looks amazing, and it goes like thousands and thousands of views. So yeah, you're right. But I think the Stingray is gonna <laughs> is gonna take that price away. So on the truck side, you have the Silverado, the GMC Sierra, uh, which are basically the same, right? And then the Buick Encore. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, the um, the Silverado and the Sierra. I mean, now we were kind of surprised to see both of them in there, and we don't expect them both to make the uh, the final top three. Uh, but um, it kind of shows how the the two vehicles have been. Positioned slightly differently in a, in a stronger way than in years past. I mean, you're right; they are ultimately the same vehicle, but uh, they, you know, definitely carry uh, different levels of, of refinement and equipment and so forth. So that's that's interesting. But you know, for my money, the fact that the Encore has made the uh, the short list is, is pretty amazing because that's a vehicle that I remember vividly being at the Detroit Auto Show uh, two years ago when it was first introduced, and a lot of people scratching their heads saying. Why? Yeah. You know, why the why the Buick came in a small SUV? It doesn't make sense. Uh, but now, of course, we're seeing Audi and Mercedes and BMW and everybody else going into that same space. 
and the fact that uh, you know this little Buick is now on the short list is is really really uh, a strong testament to that we you know that the company hit the bullseye. Yeah, uh, on that list on the truck side, I think my prediction uh, will, will probably go somewhere else because I think it's like much tougher competition than in the car side of, uh, of, of things. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm looking over the list right now, and it, it is a tough one. I mean, the uh, that new Range Rover Sport, I understand, is, is uh, really a fantastic yeah. drive. Yeah, everybody uh, loves... Actually, we have a, a, an interview later on this show because they like, have a waiting list of almost a year for that car. And the funny thing, I interview a general manager for a dealer city in Miami. They have a waiting yeah. list of the waiting list. And in terms of like if people cancel, they have a waiting <laughs> list for the people who cancel the original waiting list, which is an amazing thing. So we're going to see what happens with that one. Yeah, that's, well, that's, that's what, that's, you know, again, about significance. Uh, the fact that, uh, you know, a brand like Land Rover has a waiting list, that tells you a lot right exactly. there. Exactly. Well, James, thank you very much. And I'm sure for next year you're going to have a couple more candidates, the Cadillac Escalade and the Cadillac ELR. So I think they're in good shape for next year, too. So thank you very much for your time, and then we'll keep talking about that later. That sounds great. Thank you, Andrew. Thank you. Bye, James. Ese fue James Bell de General Motors hablando de la, del fabuloso año que está teniendo la compañía en el 2013, lo que viene en el 2014 y un poco un adelanto en el 2015. Este programa fue una producción de National Latino Broadcasting.